to my home. Today we are in my bedroom. We are going to be doing some decorating together. I am going to share a stool that launched this entire project. It was so cute and I could not leave it in the store. I haven't done anything in this space for five years, anything significant anyway. And so it was time for a little bit of a refresh. Plus, I shopped my home earlier in March and it left this bare spot where a chair was and I need to remedy that situation as well. And here is that stool I told you about. I was in Ross and I saw this about a month ago. The colors, I loved the colors in these. I love the texture and the pattern on the fabric of the stool. So I grabbed it and since then, I have been slowly adding pieces to create the look I wanted. I found these gold and terracotta velvet covered pillows at World Market on clearance. They were a little bit less than $10 each. I also got the rectangular geometric print pillows there at World Market as well. I think they are labeled indoor outdoor pillows, but they are gonna work here on my bed and have a great texture to them. I will link anything I can for y'all down in the descriptions like I always try to do, but the colors were perfect with the stool. I love my current bedding. I have had it five years now, and it just proves if you take really good care of something, it lasts and lasts and lasts. But because my bed is so high, I had to custom design and make a bed skirt. So I didn't really want to change the entire bedding set, but with these pillows, it gives it an entirely new look for a fraction of the cost. This is the chair I mentioned that I took from my bedroom and put in my entryway. You can tell that before my bedroom was in more muted neutral colors and so I'm definitely bringing in color launching off of that footstool and the pillows. It goes with that tailored canvas I put over my bed in my last video. Love it. I love the depth and richness and warmth and texture it is bringing to my space. I am guilty of shopping my home yet again. I quote unquote stole this light from my family room and am putting it here in this empty space. And then I found at Ross again for $99, this golden velvet chair. It is a beautiful accent chair. I love gold and terracotta. I love gray and black, all of it together perfect blend with that stool and the pillows again just adding that depth and that warmth here anchoring it with the light and then bringing in that little stool i absolutely love sitting in this space i made phone calls here i have quiet time here i just love this little area that i've created for myself and it's like a sanctuary within my bedroom I have used this throw pillow different places around my home. It is very versatile and works great in so many different locations. And I'm gonna add it here to accent my new gold chair. I'm bringing my floor length mirror back in to my bedroom space. This was gifted to me from my husband so many years ago. I found this faux plant at Burlington and it was a wonderful find, a great price. It came in this really pretty basket. I couldn't believe I found the whole plant and basket for only $39.99. And I'm just gonna add it here between my upright dresser and the mirror. Moving on to the top of my dresser here, it is pretty bare. I've already taken down a lot of the decor that I had up here. This lamp and then my wax warmer is what's left. Taken down my sign, it is well with my soul. I love that, so I will find another spot for that in the house. But I have a couple of vases that I, once again, shopped from in my eat-in kitchen area. So be looking for a decorate with me in there. I now have big gaping holes there from where these were, but I am going to put the two different vases here. These came from Target. I'm gonna move 
my florals over to the taller vase and just uh, fluff them out and make them look nice and pretty. And then you will see me working here to try to get the wax warmer kind of hidden on the other side of the dresser so you don't see it from the entrance to the bedroom. And then I like to place my wax warmer on some kind of dish or tray. I have had it accidentally spill before and that helps to protect the surface of my wooden dresser. It may look like tiny, minuscule movements that I keep repositioning these items, but to me and in my mind's eye, it makes a huge difference to get it just right. Anybody else out there like that when they're decorating? It is a process. You know, you might see it here on camera and it looks quick and easy, but it is not always like that. So if it seems like a little bit of a struggle to you, don't give up. It is that way for most everybody. And I love these downy scented wax warmers. They just make the house smell crisp and clean. Now moving across the room, I have this shelf that I want to decorate. I'm taking down my floral hanging and I'm replacing it with this botanical print. This came out of the April Habitation Box. That is a subscription box I shared with you several videos ago. That will be linked down in the description. These greenery stems came from Kirkland's and I'm just putting them in the basket. This basket can be styled so many different ways as can this botanical print. I'm inserting here ideas of other ways you could use it. You can find similar items to this basket all over in the stores right now. You might even already own a lot of pieces that are similar and that you could use to create the same look. Then I have this really pretty stone double candlestick holder. I found this at Burlington back in January. I shared it over on Instagram in my stories. If you have Instagram and are not following me, then head on over there after this video and do that. I am at uniquely Lisa two. That's Lisa with an E and the number two. Fiddle in with this area again, getting it just so so. Placing this cowhide box here, I just store things in here that I need handy but don't want to see. And then back over to my chair where I should have turned off the light because it is causing it to be dark in my recording, but I'm going to move that gold flower above the chair for now. I have some books that I keep here at my bedside table. I'm going to just put them in a little basket. Just makes it a little more attractive way to display and store them here and still keep them easily accessible. I also have this vase that has some faux olive branches in it. I'm going to put that here on my bedside as well. Nothing too big because this space is very small, but it brings some extra life and dimension to my bedside. I'm cutting off all the tags and taking those off of all the new items. Is anybody else like that? Do you wait till you're perfectly happy and sure you love it? Or do you cut them off immediately and just like go with it? They're yours. While I give you a final overview of everything that we have done today in this bedroom decorate with me, I just want to say thank you so much for spending your time here. I hope that you are inspired to get out there and find some decor that you just absolutely love. Maybe it will spark your creativity and launch you into a wonderful new direction for your latest home decor. 
I really do love sharing my home and a decorating hobby with you. So again, I'm so glad that you're here and I hope that you decide to hit that subscribe bar and stick around joining the Uniquely Lisa family. I would most definitely love to have you. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoy this video. That lets me and YouTube know just how much you like decorating videos. I have more exciting content planned for you, so be sure you come back. And until I see you in that next video, I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day. And I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon.